I'm one of those old guys kahit matanda na sasabihin ko hindi mas maganda yung PBA nung panahon namin eh. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi yep. Day. Today, para sa atin dito sa 2OT, as the good senator from Aurora is joining us live here of via Zoom. Of course, Senator Sunny Angara is joining Carlo Pamintuan and myself, Magu Marjan. Magandang araw po, Sen. Magandang araw, Magu and Carlo. Salamat for having me on, uh, on, on 2OT. Salamat. Oh. And not only is the good senator a senator of the Republic, chairman din natin sa Samahang Basketball ng Pilipinas, SBP, Kaya naman, ang dami kagad burning questions regarding what will happen to the world of sports and of course, the game of basketball that we all love. But first and foremost, Sen, we are so glad and happy na nakarecover ka na from uh, catching the novel coronavirus. Yes, yeah, salamat uh, guys. Uh, medyo napatagal yung ano natin. Siguro mga 15 to two and a half weeks din yung laban natin. But you know, dito sa Pilipinas, ang gagaling ng mga doktor natin. Eh. So talagang saludo tayo sa kanila. And I, they gave me good medicines, they gave me good treatment. So after a week in the hospital, nakalabas na ako. Mukhang okay naman. Thank you. Senator, we're very happy that you've recovered. We're also <coughs> thankful that you were able to donate plasma. Nakita natin yung inyong donation no? for, for, yeah. for you know help to our doctors and looking for a possible solution to this pandemic. Uh, inimbitahan po namin kayo dito sa 2OT kasi... Ayaw po namin na kami yung inbitahan nyo sa Senado ni Magu. <laughs> <laughs> wala namang rason. Wala namang rason. Oo. Resource person. Experts kayo. Experts. So. <laughs> Pero Sen, yung uh, bagong uh, ina-advocate mo, as uh, we've been reading since yesterday, is yung mga nakarecover, eh yes. sana eh, mag-donate ng plasma to help out in the cause and trying to find a cure. Yes. I, I found this out two days ago, Magu Carlo, when I went to the hospital. Nagbigay ako ng plasma ko. It takes about an hour kasi tinatanggal yung red blood mo. Pero nagaantay yung mga ibang pasyente. Nag-uusap lang pala yung mga hospital kasi may privacy concerns. So hindi alam sino yung mga survivors. They have no way of reaching out to these guys kasi may, may rights to privacy. So medyo sinisikreto yung number. So sabi ko, nananawagan sana ako sa DOH, sa DILG, sa LGUs who collectively have this information. Please give the information to those who need it, which are the hospitals. I'm sure the, infor- the privacy information ng mga survivors will be safe um, can we get, uh, I know we're all not doctors, pero you would have a better idea. Ano yung uh, logic behind this? Why would the doctors need yung plasma? Yung plasma daw has the antibodies. Eh. Eh yung, kaya ang binibigyan yung mga may severe COVID, yung talagang uh, naka-intubate or may ventilator na hindi, hindi na makahinga sa sarili nilang uh, lakas. No? So I think yung plasma, panay antibodies yun. Dahil na-develop yung immunity to the disease ng survivors. So, binibigay yung plasma dun sa, hinahalo dun sa dugo ng uh, mga pasyente. At yun ang lumalaban sa virus. Senator, can you just walk us through your you know, experiences when you, when you got sick? And ano yung pinakamahirap nyo na pinagdaanan in the past couple of weeks? Well, lahat nung halos lahat nung nabasa yung symptoms sa uh, COVID naramdaman ko eh yung mild yung medyo may lagnat, sakit ng katawan, yung sakit ng ulo, yung sore throat, uh, ubo. Uh, ang hindi ko lang naramdaman yung uh, loss of appetite uh, although nung ginamot na ako, parang yun na- nawala rin yung appetite ko, yung LBM, diarrhea naramdaman ko rin yun. Uh, ang mahirap yung ina-isolate ka talaga sa ER, medyo malungkot, walang bisita. Uh, Tapos nararamdaman mo yung medicines, medyo yung chemical siguro, nahihilo ka. Kahit yung tubig, parang nasusuka ka eh. So yun lang naman, but after a few days, maganda naman yung response, maganda yung treatment. So hindi naman, kung ikumpara ko sa ibang pasyente at ibang story na rinig ko, hindi naman grabe yung akin sa totoo lang. So Sen, aside from uh, being treated properly, of course, for people, if they catch this uh, dreadful disease, Bukod sa uh, medicine, treatment, and lakas ng loob, ano pang mapapayo mo para hindi naman nagpapanik lahat ng tao? What would be the key to really um, recover? Well, anything that uh, helps your immunity talaga eh. Yung pampalakas ng katawan. So tulog, importante yan. Yung pag-inom ng maraming fluids sa tubig. 
drinking a lot of liquids is very important. Uh, taking vitamins like vitamin C is very important. Vitamin D and zinc, sabi nila, are very important now. So, hindi naman lahat pwedeng ipasok sa hospital, di ba? Ako, I had to wait in the ER for four days. So, kung medyo hindi naman grabe yung sintomas, siguro subukan muna sa bahay. Yun ang sinubukan ko eh. I spent a week at home, pero talagang uh, hindi kinayanan. Siguro malakas talaga yung tama ng virus sa akin. So, I had to go to the hospital. Pero hopefully, a lot will not get, it will not get to that for a lot of people. Hopefully, um, yung self-treatment at home. Tapos yung nebulizer or yung... Uh, yeah. Um, yung air, air, uh, what you call those? The, the, the ones where the, the, the mist and the smoke comes out. Nakakatulong nice. din how, daw yun. Uh, and I had that in the hospital. So all of these things, sana kung kaya, uh, gawa ng paraan. No? Tapos syempre, yung basic uh, na pinapayo po sa natin, basic steps, um, social distancing is very important. Um, kung may masama ang pakiramdam, ako, I felt bad March 15. Humiwalay na ako sa pamilya ko. I, I stayed in a different room. Kasi sabi ko, we have to act like we already have the virus even if we don't know if we have it. Mas maganda yung gano'n, yun sigurado. Yun ang importante, no? Yes, so yung, now, yung... Sen, we, we understand you're less than a week away from completely recovering and talagang mag, uh, hindi ka na magka-quarantine. Ang pinakamalaking yes, yes. tanong, kailan ka makakapag-basketball ulit? <laughs> <laughs> kailan tayo makakapag-basketball? Yung 3 <laughs> <3XT> natin. <laughs> Tinalan nyo kami, Magu. Kailangan bumawi kami sa inyo, eh. <laughs> I don't know, you know, honestly, nakakamiss talaga watching sports, playing sports. Yung makashoot ka lang sa basketball ring eh. Parang nakakamiss yung pakiramdam eh. So, hopefully, uh, yung March, yung April 30 deadline natin sa ECQ or sa quarantine eh, hindi na ma-extend or at least yung mababa siya to the barangay level. So, barabarangay yung quarantine para, uh, number one, makaresume yung buhay, yung mga may trabaho, makabalik sa trabaho. Uh, and of course, yung mga atat na atat mag-basketball, mag-basketball. <laughs> Yan yung pinaka-importante. Senator, we, no? al- we always see you. Yeah, we always see you uh, during basketball events. May it be UAAP or the PBA or GS Pilipinas. Uh, Sen, how, how did your passion for basketball start? Well, first and foremost, I'm a really a sports fan, uh, Carlo. No? At... Uh, Kahit grade 1 pa ako, mahilig na talaga ako mag-basketball. So, it's really in the blood. And now that I have I'm, I have these uh, official hats as uh, uh, SBP chair, uh, I was also chairman of sports sa Senate. So, talagang I, I made it sure to to be present in some of these uh, big events na maaring mas maganda na nandun tayo para makita talaga natin ano yung kinakailangan from a public policy standpoint. No? Tapos ngayon sa UP, I'm also part of this uh, group called Nowhere to Go But Up which is an alumni group put together by some uh, UP fanatics to help the UP team and they've done a good job because uh, you know from one win in one season uh, medyo naka final four na kami for the last two or three seasons so talagang uh, things think that's the nice thing about sports eh? hope always springs eternal you know there, there's always the hope that you can do better or be better and aside from being a big supporter and of course an official Ikaw, Sen, mahilig ka pa rin mag-basketball up to this year, until, at least and before, until before uh, this uh, pandemic. Sa Senate, sir, meron kayong nilalaroan sa UNTV Cup and sa, I guess some other places. Sino sa'yo personally ang top five na senator ballers natin today in the Philippines? Well, actually, wala masyado naglalaro dyan. Pero yung the ones who spring to mind immediately are my co-captain sa Senate team dati. Nung nag-champion kami, si Senator Joel Villanueva, who's a former UST uh, a champion no, sa UAAP, uh, also former RP junior team. Manny, Senator Manny Pacquiao, is, is, uh, hindi na papagod yan. Hindi nagpapasub-sub yan pag uh, naglalaro sa court. Uh, tireless and gusto niya lagi, one on, uh, one-on-one defense. Sabi ko, pwede naman zone, Sen. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> si, Condition kasi. <laughs> si... Uh, Senator Bongo is is a uh, is like I think he's the Steph Curry of the Senate. Magandang kamay. Ooh. I pagka bakante pasok yan parang magumar John yan eh. Uh, <laughs> the, well, those are the three who really play now, no. And but uh, you have like Senator Gordon, Senator Drillon, who are who even watch uh, as many of the games as they can. Senator Zubiri and Senator Ralph Recto up to a few years ago was also playing. Magaling din, may galaw din, and may height. It's about five eleven, six foot. But of course, I guess if you're talking about Senator Ballers, you can't leave out the Big J, di ba? Who's yeah. former MVP, BMVP. Then you talk about 
even going throwback way back you're talking about Ambrosio Padilla who's a former Olympian so talaga Wait, may Freddy ba, may Freddy yung... ba tayo sen? oh forgot yeah fast break Freddy my gosh how could I forget <laughs> yeah calling up my father and you know one of the legends of Philippine basketball so talagang there is that string of uh, basketball lovers sa Senado Senator who were who were the PBA players that you grew up watching na talagang hinangaan nyo I was a big Toyota fan uh, growing Ooh. up, especially si Mon Fernandez and si Francis Arnaiz. Of course, the big J. Uh, so when Mon Fernandez went to uh, Beer House and Pure Foods, Tanduay, I followed his career, San Miguel, all the way to San Miguel. I would watch in Araneta. Uh, and yung, ganun pa yung, yung, ano pa, iikutin mo pa yung channel, wala pang remote control, nanonood na ako ng TV. <laughs> and of course, those, those, those legendary Toyota Crispa battles were, for me, unforgettable. Parang, I'm one of those old guys, kahit matanda na, sasabihin ko, hindi, mas maganda yung PBA nung panahon namin. Eh. <laughs> Kasi, parang hindi siya, hindi pa siya corporate masyado. It wasn't a corporate battle. Parang ngayon, nag-shift yung terrain, naging corporate yung laban. Eh, diba? Dati talagang pride at saka, hindi lumilipat masyado yung mga players. Eh, diba? Parang, oh. andito ka sa kampo mo, dyan ka, diba? laban tayo. And, uh, of course, aside from the PBA, and, ang dami mo pa rin ibang, uh, pagdat, pag, sa pagiging sports fan, we understand UP, obviously, nando doon talaga yung puso mo. Pero you are yeah. also a huge Boston Celtics fan. Is it just because of you going to Harvard or even before that, Boston Celtics na talaga? No, actually, before that, I was a Laker fan. That's the irony. Oh. <laughs> Magu and Carlo. In the 80s, like most Filipinos, you know, I was a big Kareem and, uh, you That's know, it. Kareem even came to the Philippines in the 80s, eh, early 80s. You know, I have all these souvenirs. And I was a big Laker fan during the the the... Uh, the Showtime Lakers, no? But in 2002, I went to study in Harvard, and you know, Boston is such a big sports town. You have the you have the Red Sox, you have the Celtics, you have the Boston Bruins in hockey, you have the New England Patriots. So, mahirap yung hindi ka mahawa dun sa. It's a small city also, eh. so they don't. Sabi nga nila, they don't have movie stars in Boston, unlike New York and LA, but they have sports stars, and those are their legends. Those are you know mga idols nila. Kaya. Um, Danny Ainge, for instance, he can he can go to restaurants and they pay. They don't. He doesn't have to pay his bill because <laughs> talagang mahal na mahal nila yung mga uh, 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 mga sports heroes nila dun eh. So, so, I, 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 yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I was able to go to Boston, no, just before the quarantine period. I was able wow. to watch a game there and. It, it, it's really true, eh. Napag dumating ka doon, it's like an entire community just watching the Boston Celtics play. Ganun sila, ganun sila ka, yes. ka passionate about their city and their sports. Yes, yes, definitely. And, and their traditions already. Like, if someone starts shouting, Beat LA, the whole crowd will start chanting, Beat LA. <laughs> and then, you know, they have this thing called Gino time. So, pag tambak na, they'll start playing this 70s video, Gino uh, music video. So, talaga, it's, it's really hard not to not to get uh, caught up in all these uh, traditions because the whole crowd is infectious, eh, diba? psychology and human nature. Yan. And of course, when I was studying in Boston, it was a good run. Eh. The Boston Red Sox bro- broke the uh, curse, the curse of the Bambino. Yeah. They finally won the World Series, I think 2003, 2004. The Patriots were doing well. Yeah. And of course, the Celtics, 2008, finally, they after how many years? No? 24 years, they won, they won mm-hmm. another. After the Larry Bird... Uh, uh, big three era. They formed their own big three. But I remember one of my most uh, memorable stories is in, when I was a student, I uh, watched a game where Michael Jordan was on his last year. So he played wow. the Boston Celtics. And, you know, it was also my first time to see Paul Pierce play live. Talagang humanga talaga ako. I mean, you have Michael Jordan, you have Paul Pierce. So that, that kind of thing that, that lives forever in your memory, you know. And yung maganda dun, no? meron tayong senator na kasing passionate natin representing us in the Senate. <laughs> and yung passion mo na yan, sir, of course, has spilled over to the Philippine national team. Our Gilas uh, national team, and hindi ka lang super fan ng Gilas ngayon, sir. Isa ka na sa officials ng SBP. Si Carlo, yun yung tinatanong sa, nung i- dinidiscuss namin a couple of weeks back pa. What now happens for Gilas Pilipinas in the next few windows? Would you have an idea? Yes, uh, uh, I can update you guys now. Uh, you know, Gilas was ready to go and uh, play in all these. Uh, we had a new squad and Tab Tab Baldwin is in charge uh, and, 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 uh, and Yang also, no? So we already had this uh, and Coach Jong also. So we already had uh, play a squad 
ready to play the invitationals, no? Kasi home and away na yung format natin, no? Hindi yung isang tournament in one place. We have the home and away qualifiers. And of course, we're preparing for the 2023 uh, FIBA World Cup, which we are hosting here in the Philippines, no? Uh, big kudos to SBP and then Gilas for getting that. Pero yung 2020 mukhang burado na eh. Just like everything else. Just like the UAAP, just like the NBA. Mukhang wala nang events. Uh, yung lahat ng invitationals and the qualifying uh, games, wala na. Move to next, move to 2021 na. So FIBA already took that step para there's no uncertainty and uh, the various teams and countries can adjust. But uh, tayo, ready na tayo eh. Even before the uh, advent of COVID, uh, ready na tayo na, uh, to field our best team for given the circumstances. No? And PBA has been very helpful. We're also thankful to Com Willie. And uh, si President Alpan Lilio, uh, Sunny Barrios, Executive Director, and the uh, Vice Chair Robbie Puno. Talagang hands-on. Lahat yan, panatiko. Kung kala nyo panatiko ako sa basketball, mas panatiko pa yung mga yan. Senator, you are in this unique position no? uh, as a, the chairman of the Samahang Basketball ng Pilipinas and as a senator of the Republic of the Philippines because um, we've been talking about the process of naturalization, um, the next naturalized player para sa Gilas, Pilipinas. Um, we've had a Marcos Doubted before and of course, si Kuya Andre Blatch. And now, we, we are trying to gauge who will be the, the next naturalized player to tide us over to 2023 any any anything you can share with us uh with regards to this topic sir i think the front runners right now are uh si the the center of ateneo si kwame angelo kwame, angelo kwame. uh si juf is placed for up 611 i think he's Mali. also being considered tapos si makala i think is also in consideration no? uh so i think those are the names i'm hearing right now I guess uh, there have to be talks on, the, on what are the specific arrangements before. But uh, kami, sabi ko nga, uh, me in the upper house, tapos our vice chair, SBP vice chair, si Ro- Kong Robi Puno in the lower house. Ready na, nakaready na yung bills namin eh. So once uh, SBP uh, makes a decision and comes to an agreement with the individual players, um, then we're ready to go. And the legislative process will will try to speed it up as much as possible, which is what we did uh, in the case of uh, Andre Blatch before Seville. 2013 and and before that si Marcos Dautit who all did well for the Philippines. How about naman uh, senator yung grassroots program natin? I, I, we all know everything is at a standstill right now. Yes. Sinabi mo na yung international competition mukhang wala mo na ngayong 2020. How about yung local development natin? Ano what is the status? Well, tuloy-tuloy yon no, yung regional chapters ng SBP. They were ready already with their plans uh, on uh, training that the different teams. And ang push ngayon, uh, Magu and Carlo, is the 3x3. Eh. That's why we're giving an additional seat, board seat sa SBP to any leagues who want to put up uh, yung 3x3. So talagang, they'll have a voice and uh, we'll, we, want, we want to really push this because, again, it's another possibility for Philippine sports, another possibility for Philippine medals and Philippine prestige. No, uh, But other than that, ready na eh, ready for from Baguio. In fact, even the referee training, uh, it's all being ramped up uh, in the provinces. So, hindi natin nakikita yan, hindi natin nababalitaan. Pero talagang yung SBP at saka yung mga affiliates niya, very active in the provinces. Pero, Sen, ang pinaka-importante naman ngayon sa mga bata, syempre, summer. Excited lang lahat pagka parating na summer. Ngayon, dumating na yung summer. May 1, May posibilidad pa ba na makahabol ang mga liga? Alam naman natin that all year long inaantay ng mga bata na makapagliga. Think in your honest opinion, makakapagliga pa ba tayo before uh, the next school year? Parang not soon uh, magu. Mukhang uh, we'll have to wait a little while, no? Baka yung liga natin will have to give way to uh, yung mga mas safe na laro tulad ng horse di ba sa NBA ng, <laughs> ng game of horse o, o kaya 21 na lang kasi pwede yung social distancing <laughs> o yung 3 point shootout no? pero yung dikita na laro parang uh, baka the medical community might discourage it at this point dahil wala pa tayong vaccine eh. tsaka uh, talagang to be on the safe side mas maganda yung may distansya sa isa't isa Senator, um, we, we've already discussed how you enjoy watching the Boston Celtics in, in the NBA. Sa PBA naman, are there teams that you like watching? We, we won't say that you're exactly a fan of the team, but sino yung pinaka-enjoy yung panoorin? Could be a team, could be certain players. 
Well, I think there's a there's if you're talking about the top teams in the PBA, the exciting ones. Sa talagang enjoy ka pag uh, I think nandyan yung San Miguel, nandyan yung Inebra, nandyan yung TNT, Talk and Text. These are the teams that really, kasi the quality of their players is really up there. No? Hindi, na, hindi po bababa yung quality nung, nung players nila. Yung bench nila usually is, is good enough to be a first five ng ibang teams. Eh. Sa, sa players naman, well, I'm a guard. I play the, the, the two guard. no So I, I, I admire a lot of the uh, the tweener guards. no Like someone like Paul Lee who can play one or two. Uh, I think his game is very exciting. Uh, Jason Castro, of course, uh, I think he, he's very exciting also. Si Stanley Pringle, yan, masarap panoorin yung mga yan. And, and I look at them also because I want to learn from them somehow. No? Kahit slow motion yung atin, at least <laughs> parang uh, nagagaya natin. <laughs> and any violent reaction sa mga nagsasabi, Sen, na may hawig daw o kamukha mo raw yung kasama mo rin sa SVP si Coach Ryan Gregorio. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi. I, I, we get that a lot talaga. Kaya kung magkasama kami, nagpapapicture kami. Tapos pinopost namin, eto po si Coach Ryan, ako po si Sen Sani para hindi na kayo magkamali. But no reactions. Uh, kapatid ko yan, we grew up together actually, kababata namin because his father was a vice president at UP when my father was UP president back then si ah. Tito, the, late, the late Tito Mart. So the Gregorio kids, mga kaibigan po namin, family friends po namin yan. Very close. So, so, si Magu so po, sino yung no, kabukang sen- senator ni Magu? <laughs> Artis, artista yata yung kamukha ni Magu. Eh. <laughs> Papalo mo ko kay Sen. Sana ito si Carlo. Papalo mo ko kay Sen. Eh di sigurado nakabasketball mo na yung mga Gregorio. Yes, yes. Kasi sa we have this Makabansa League eh, sponsored by the MVP group, di ba? Si Ryan plays for... Uh, the teams there, I think si Coach Alan also plays for one of the teams there. Si Coach Pato na lang, si Pato na lang ang kailangan ng mga kalaro. <laughs> pa, pag, pag nagkakalaro mo yung mga Gregorio, except for Sir Pato, ah, pero si AG and si RG, Coach Alan and Coach Ryan, pinapasahan ka ba naman ngayon? <laughs> hindi ko hindi ko kampi. Pero yung, wala naman ako naririnig sa, tanong niya lang sa kampi nila kung galit sila sa kanila. <laughs> Born to shoot eh, may ganun na, may tapaw. Eh. <laughs> mamba, mamba. Mamba mentality. <laughs> Senator, um, I, I vividly remember your presence during the 2015, ano no, 2015 FIBA yeah. Asia Cup yeah. sa China makakasama yeah. tayo doon. Yeah, right, um, right. and and I remember having you know short talks with you about that team and how they did not have the the talent that they wanted to get into that squad. Pero grabe yung nilaro nila. You know, can, can you can you share with us some of the memories you had of, of that particular squad? Uh, I remember we had a very tough semi-final against Japan where we fell behind. Yeah. Uh, their shooter was on. I forgot the name of that, that, that shooter. Parang yung small forward nila. And talagang we had to... Uh, no, I remember si Rani Del. Yan, he, he's newly retired. No, our friend. Congrats, uh, idol. Binasag kami kahapon. Si Rani Del, si Ping. They were guarding bigger guys. no. And uh, uh, I remember si... Si Jason played well uh, in that game. Talagang, I think, yeah, I think Don, he was Don. one of the top in that game. Yeah. Eh. Wala pa si June Mar nun, eh, if I remember correctly. No? Correct. So talagang, we had to dig deep talaga to beat Japan in the semis. And sa China, I think we had a chance. But uh, parang, we started slow. Eh. So kung maganda sana yung umpisa natin, I think we would have had a chance sa finals. No? Uh, but, uh, kahit, kahit wala yung kalaban, sen. <laughs> Oo, grabe yung pito na Tapos naalala niya yung bus pa pa Ni- Nilito pa yung bus nun eh. Parang nasira pa yung bus eh. Pero, Rado yung baterias din Oo, oh, I think um, oh, we, 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 we can't say enough about the heart of, of, of those players Sila Calvin at the time Ping uh, I, I think Jimmy wasn't already wasn't there anymore no? But but Talagang sila, LA. Then, we had Talagang Don Don, Asi, Santos. Yeah, Don Don was on that squad. Asi, that's yeah. right. That's right. Uh, si Terrence was also on that squad. Terrence, think, no? Pintal, so, talagang, Benuelas Rosser. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Si Matt. So, you know, sometimes it's hard to remember kasi kasi nag-overlap yeah. na in our memories yeah. the the players. no. But that squad, you're right. Kasi at that time, parang hindi pa planchado with the PBA yung, yung talagang... At that time, there was the one-player rule. Eh. Di ba? Yeah. One player from each squad lang. So... We had to make do with that. But uh, now that it's opened up, hopefully, mas maganda yung haharapin natin and we won't have that ch- the challenges with the players. I think ang challenge ngayon yung mga injuries natin. Eh. Because uh, yeah. between between the, the, the pro leagues tapos yung uh, commitments to country, 
medyo patong-patong na rin. So, it takes a toll on the, bo- the bodies of our players. Okay, Senator, um, just an outlook on what do you think sports would look like after this yeah. pandemic? Yung, siyempre, ang ganda na nung ano natin eh, ang ganda na nung momentum when it comes uh, to building on the other sports after the Southeast Asian Games. PBA is doing well, UAAP is doing well, NCAA and the, the volleyball community also is exploding here in the Philippines. What would it look like after this pandemic? Well, uh, Philippine sports, I think, is bright now because I think we're all looking for, kami sa Senate, we're looking for ways to expand the pool of all sports. Parang uh, right now, we're just getting from um, smaller pools, eh, di ba? Kung yung uh, palaro, tapos yung larong Pinoy, batang Pinoy, you have a few leagues. But um, I think for sports, other sports like uh, tennis or golf, you have to expand the pool talaga. And how do you do that? You have to make it barangay based. How do you do that? You need facilities. So I think we're looking into how, uh, hopefully, when if our financial or fiscal the money situation improves, we can start building all these facilities. And we have these new facilities in Clark. So we need more of these uh, nationwide. No? Maybe at a at a smaller level, para the community can be part of it. Because like like in a country like Singapore, for instance. They put up a housing development. You look at their old, older housing developments. Walang gym, walang swimming pool. But you look at their new housing developments. Na, na, na incorporate na nila at the very basic level yung sports facilities. I think that's something that we need to do here in the country. How about but in for, the immediate... uh, for spectator sports? Naman, I think yeah. um, hindi masadong maganda yung outlook for the next few months, no? Because <laughs> Pagka walang uh, liga, walang fans. Pagka walang fans, walang liga. So I think the consensus seems to be that um, even if you open up the leagues, mukhang walang magplang pupunta hanggang walang vaccine o walang uh, kasiguruhan dun sa health situation. Uh, so that is uh, going to be rough for everybody in the community, no? Yeah, it's, it's going to be a time for tightening of belts. You see sa British Premier League, sa soccer, sa NBA, there's already talks about cutting back on salaries. And uh, just getting a percentage of of whatever money is in the pool left, no? Because walana yung yung endorsements bagsak yan, yung yung sponsorships bagsak yan, yung attendance, ticket sales bagsak. So talagang it's a smaller pool for everybody involved. Okay, Senator, before we wrap up, um, just a message to all Filipino uh, Filipinos watching right now. Um, it, it has been a tough. Uh, three weeks or so, I'm sure that it was also very, very difficult for you because of the situation you were in. Maraming nagsasabi na things will never be the same after this pandemic and you actually live through it. What's your message to all of the people? Well, thanks, Carlo and Magu for having me on your show. It's been a lot of fun talking about sports and hopefully uh, there are brighter days ahead. No, Hopefully we'll see leagues uh, resuming, our kids playing again in the street at a very basic level kasi they need to get that energy out of them no uh, yung mga bad yeah. yung anak ko eh talagang parang sasabog na dito sa loob ng bahay eh. yung energy nila grabe no so i'm sure that's the same all in households all over the country yeah. uh, so but we're working double time to find that vaccine nga and help help pa the situation be under control and hopefully there'll come a time na bara barangay na lang yung quarantine hindi buong buong uh, luzon uh, o hindi buong bayan uh I just want to say hi to Philippine sports fans. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. And sunod na muna tayo. Konting sakripisyo. Uh, Giyera to, mga kababayan. Eh. So let's let's all sacrifice a little bit and stay home and be disciplined. Yun lang. Para sa sports lang, kailangan ng disiplina. Thank you. Y- yun nga, no? lahat tayo nag-sacrifice uh, na, nag-suffer na for a few weeks. Eh, pag tinigil natin yun, lalo nga haba. Eh, no? So konti na lang, <laughs> konti na lang. Yes, yes. For the good of everyone. Thank you. Thank you guys. Salamat. Senator Sonny Angaras, thank you so much. Mara, sir. Thanks. You brought so much class to this 2 OT uh, show. Totoo <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you, Mago. Thank you, Carlo. I had a lot of fun. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Thanks. Thank you, sir.